We all want to be healthy. We know exercise and regular checkups help. But what if you were somewhere very remote, say, out in space? How would you exercise and monitor your health? Researchers at NASA's Glenn Research Center are tackling those issues. We focus on exercise device development as well as exercise protocol development. And both of those are focused on enhancing health of the crew uh, when they're in spaceflight. Through the Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program, the Glenn Engineers team with Zen Technologies, a small firm in Cleveland, Ohio, to develop health-related technologies. A lot of the work that we do currently is focused on more near-term needs and we are not looking at some of the advanced concepts that the SBIR program gives us an opportunity to look at. Glenn and Zinn have partnered with researchers at the Cleveland Clinic to develop a biomedical device for monitoring the astronaut's health. It's called BioWatch. We decided that it really was time to make a smaller version and a smarter version of an ambulatory data collection system. It's smart in two ways. It's smart because it can do some local computation and it's also smart because it can communicate. We are working with uh, Johnson right now, potentially that it could be incorporated into the new uh, astronaut spacesuits so that we can monitor their vital signs uh, utilizing the BioWatch technology. Uh, and then those vital signs will be uh, real-time transferred down to, uh, to Earth. Zen is also commercializing the space technology for use here on Earth. It relieves some of the pressure from uh, patients having coming back to the hospital uh, frequently to have the vital signs monitored. It can be done at home and the signal can be sent wirelessly real time back to the clinic. The doctor will be able to know what the patient did that day and know whether their progress in their uh, post-surgical rehabilitation is going well, not by seeing the patient, just by checking in the medical record because the data has come from the patient, uh, through the device, into the medical record. Because of bone loss and microgravity, it's critical for astronauts on board the space station to exercise. But without gravity, the exercise isn't weight-bearing, something important for good musculoskeletal health. Through another SBIR contract, Zen is working on a passive pneumatic subject load device for Glenn's EZLS treadmill. The device would maintain a person's weight in a microgravity environment. One of the things that came out of that SBIR phase one was this technology could actually be infused into our program much, much sooner uh, than we had anticipated and actually fills a current gap in the program uh, for the International Space Station. And so the program has provided additional funding uh, to augment the SBIR phase two funding to actually get us closer to a hardware development that we actually will fly on the uh, International Space Station as a part of the second treadmill. Whether we're here on Earth or out in space, having good health is important for all of us.